Well, good afternoon, Philippe. Thank you so much for coming here and filming this video to promote our campaign to, uh, to fund our cancer program. The program is called Oncosense and the campaign is called Control Alt Delete Cancer. We will be explaining all of that to you in the next couple of minutes. This is the Foundation's headquarters, Sense Research Foundation in Mountain View, and I welcome you inside. So, rather than taking you to all the boring meeting rooms, I will take you down to, to talk to the scientists and to actually uh, see some of the equipment and experiments that we're going to do. And we're going to make our excellent cameraman walk backwards. Okay. Because that's <laughs> how the camera works, even though he's on film. And we're going to talk to the group leader of the Oncosense project, Haroldo Silva. Dr. Haroldo Silva is in the office here. Hello. Haroldo, thank you for making a few minutes to talk to us. Sure. Uh, the uh, Oncosense project has been going for a few years now, of course, and you've been heading it. And I'm just here to ask you to say a couple of words about the current work, and in particular about the current campaign, the Control Alt Delete Cancer campaign. Yeah, so we recently started the Control Alt Delete Cancer campaign at uh, Lifespan.io. And we're asking to, uh, for donations to complete our project. And so the main focus of the project is to um, find new drugs that can inhibit uh, or uh, delay the growth uh, or kill the uh, certain types of cancer that use the ALT pathway, ALT, for alternate length, alternative lengthening of telomeres. And the project consists of uh, using automation, robots, and a new assay that we're developing that can uh, test cancers for this particular ALT pathway in a very fast and robust manner so we can actually screen thousands of different drugs that could potentially help treat these cancers. And, you know, with your help, uh, we can test as many drugs as possible to find therapies as quickly as possible, and we can help uh, patient pa uh, patients worldwide. Thank so you very much, Geraldo. Thank you. Please donate. <laughs> Thank you. So in order to s let you see what we're going to do, I'm going to show you our labs. This is a relatively small facility, only a few thousand square feet, because we're still a much smaller charity than we would like, and we hope that you can help to change that. But in here we have a laboratory where much of the work that we do happens. Uh, let me just briefly introduce you to one of our interns. Uh, each year we take on a number of aspiring scientists, typically at undergraduate level. We are always massively oversubscribed for this, so we get exceptionally good scientists to do this. And it's a very large part of our mission to make sure that we end up with scientists who are learning the value of what we do, and also, of course, the techniques that are involved in what we do. Um, so uh, here's one of our interns who has been here Hi. for the past few weeks. She's going to be here for another couple of months, I think it is. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. Hi. And as you can see, she's already making good use of, um, uh, of our money and her time. <laughs> and I'm going to be delighted to have people like that here over this summer as well as we have for the past few. Let's now go to our other lab, um, which is pretty much the same in some ways, but it has, as you will see, somewhat different equipment in it. I think one of our other Oncosense researchers is there. Um, yes, he is. This is Dave Alberson, who is uh, number two in the project. He oh. has been here for a couple of years and is an indispensable component of this. Uh, Dave, just tell me uh, a little bit about what you do in this lab um, at the moment. Uh, so the, the, the piece of equipment that I'm using right now is called the genome. Now, what we're trying to develop here is a fast way of testing for a particular type of cancer activity. And what I have here is cancer DNA that I put in a piece of paper. And I've attached various enzymes and, and added chemicals that emit light at the end, depending upon where the cancer is. So this genome is essentially a glorified camera. I put this in here, and then it develops over time. And you can see data I have here up on the screen where you see light is the type of cancer activity that we're trying to stop. So when there's less light, it means that particular drug treatment that we did there worked. So it's the, my favorite piece of equipment. And it's much faster than the old X-ray technique, which is a total pain. But we've we've made this version here in the lab. It's great. 
Fantastic. Thanks very much, Dave. Thanks, Harry. So you get the idea, folks. This is what we do, and this is how we do it. And it's absolutely vital that we should get this funded. I want to emphasize in closing that the old pathway is something that's essential for the growth and therefore the toxicity of a large proportion of human cancer, perhaps 15% of the cancers that people die of. Whereas if you look at the amount of funding that goes into trying to understand and of course combat that particular pathway, it's a tiny fraction of 1% of what actually is spent on cancer research worldwide. So this, even compared to some of our other projects, and we tend to focus on the most neglected areas, this one, I would say, is a particularly neglected area. It's been very difficult over the past 20 years for researchers to get funding for it. We have done a lot of work to make good progress in the fight against this type of cancer, and we believe that it's one of the best ways that we can get the bang for the buck that we need, and therefore that you can get for the bang for the buck that you need. Thank you very much. Thank you, Aubrey.